Okay, now we're heading into the last um, major chapter that we cover in Math 133, which is hypothesis testing. Now, 10.1 um, is a very, very useful section, one of my favorite sections actually in the course, but there's no calculator stuff in there, nor is there in 10.2. There's the hypothesis test itself, so let's get to right here. 10.2 we have this lovely question. It says a market researcher for Starbucks is interested in knowing blah blah blah. Alright, so when you read through this you'll discover that it's it's a hypothesis test and what you're testing is the mean, okay? The average amount of that um, star, excuse me, the amount of, average amount of cups of coffee people drink. Excuse me, apparently I'm not drinking enough coffee. So H0, which is the null hypothesis, would be that mean is 1.8 and this market researcher thinks that people drink more cups of coffee than 1.8 per day so she thinks mu oopsie, is greater than 1.8 so this is a right tailed test there's the null and alternative it helps if you figure those out ahead of time before you start just plugging into the calculator okay so there's step one step two is alpha which is this all right i'm not doing all the steps like by would by hand um, that's up to you to finish but i'm just going to show you how the calculator can help you with a lot of stuff Okay, so step three, we need the test statistic and all that jazz, and four, we need the p-value. Um, I know I'm doing classical method here, but the calculator doesn't really help so much with that. Um, so let me show you how to do the p-value method and a little bit of the classical. You go to stat, you go to the right to tests, you make this smaller so you can see. Okay, there we go. All right, so we want to do number one, a z-test. We're given sigma. It's right here. See that? See that symbol right there? That's sigma. Sigma is 0.5. Don't confuse that with this guy. That's alpha. Alpha is your level of significance, your chance of making a type one error. So pick number one, z-test. So stat. Go to the right to test. Pick number one. Now I have stats in this problem, not data. I don't have a column of data. So I'm going to pick stats. What's mu zero? Mu zero is what I think it is from the hypothesis, the null hypothesis. Notice that H zero has, oopsie, come here. H zero, the null hypothesis has a zero. Same thing here. So you go down and you type 1.8, enter. Next, my sigma. My sigma was 0 0.5. So there's my sigma. X bar, that was my sample mean. She went out and she figured out that people drink on average 1.920. So you type 1.920. Oops, but you do it in the computer, not on the screen. There we go. N was 50, she asked, 50 people. And then you gotta pick the correct type of test. This is a right tailed test over here. So I'm gonna go here to the right, and I'm gonna, so it's blinking on that. And I'm gonna press enter. And then I go down to calculate and press enter. And there we go. So I have a lot of the steps for my problem done for me. Um, you're going to have to do this all yourself. So step one was the null hypothesis. Step two was alpha, which is this guy right there. Step three is the test statistic. That's what the z is that you're seeing in the calculator. So when they want the test statistic, they want z, which was 1.697. Of course, when you're doing this by hand in class, you're going to have to show the formula and all the substitutions and all that jazz. Step four, they want the classical method here, so you'd have to figure out whether this is past your, your critical value. Well, what's the critical value, you ask? Well, it's got to be z, so go to distribution, pick number three, inverse norm, and tell it 0.95. Where am I getting that from? It's the complement of my alpha, right? Alpha is 0.05. So press enter, there's the critical value. So the crit value is 1.645. Since 1.695 is greater than that, 1.697, excuse me, is greater than 1.645, we reject H0. Okay? Alright, that's the classical method. The p-value method, look at your p-value, it's 0 .00, excuse me, 0 0.0448, that is lower than alpha. So you could say p equals 0 0.0448 is less than 0 0.05, which is alpha, so we reject H0. That's the p-value method. Okay, And of course, when you're doing this for the face-to-face -face class, you're going to have to write out all of this with formulas and symbols and all that jazz. Okay, I'm not doing it here because I don't have time. Alright, so that's the end. That's how to do a z-test from stats.